What's happening, YouTube? It's KMega405 live from the 405, where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers out there. Man, sorry it's taking so long to do a video. Great explanation. I've gone back to work after being off for months after the surgery on my knees and going through rehab and all of that. And wow, man, uh, my job welcomed me with open arms by saying, get your ass in this truck. And we got 12 to 15 hour shifts for you. You know, and your time starts at 12. PM, 12 p.m. to what 4 <laughs> 4 p.m. afternoon like I've been grinding so I've been exhausted trying to get reacclimated back into the time you know instead of having all these months off where I could just sleep and wake up whenever I want to so you know that's a big adjustment but I'm glad to be back at work you know what I'm saying making that making that real making that real money and you know just doing my thing but I definitely want to have my videos come out at least twice a week I would try to go for three but with my schedule especially now in the hot season when we're really grinding out I, I don't know if I could do that but you know I, 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 I spread myself around because I have uh, three podcasts that I do which is of course the, the sports podcast on King Dre's channel I do the next podcast on Xbox 448 channel and then also I do uh, the Games United podcast on B Shadows channel so you know I still get around so I'm so at least two so I apologize for me taking so long and yes I did hear about the uh, so-called this video and you know and then I heard about the whole sub count thing and all of that which I found kind of disingenuous just in the fact of even if you have a thousand subs you're still not making any type of money to pay bills I mean hell for some people you can't even buy a happy meal with some of the money that you get with the YouTube money and it kind of was like well because I have more subs then that means I'm a better channel well let's just get this straight I've seen people that had 85 subs and had great quality videos great content great topics and then I've seen somebody with 200,000 videos and their channel was absolute dog shit just whatever or maybe it'd be some chick that just have her boobs out and she just plays games and don't really know how to play them I mean so it's really kind of <clears throat> it's kind of odd, you know, to put yourself on this high pedestal thinking that you're somebody. I just actually think that this this dude has been bullied as a kid. And I think he takes this shit way too seriously and thinks of himself as being somebody important. But it, it is what it is. I thank my subs. Every time for you guys to pay attention to my videos, take your time out of your day to listen to me, to comment, to like. Um, I'm a fan of you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's an honor for you guys to pay attention to what I have to say because I love talking about games. And it didn't matter to me if I have 10 subs or if I have 10 million. It's all about the love for gaming and me giving my advice and love to have the discussion to talk about it because... I can't do it anywhere else. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. So I try to talk to a couple of people at work, you know, because there's a couple of, you know, they're casual gamers, but they have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. When I brought up stuff about teraflops, they thought I was talking about uh, triceratops. I swear to God, you know, it, it just is what it was. There are so many topics to talk about. So let's first start talking about the, uh, the uh, Bioshock collection. It just got confirmed. I'm very excited about it. Um, I love Bioshock Infinite. Um, the whole racial narrative. I thought it was going to go a little bit darker because, you know, it's a 2K game. And, you know, 2K just pushed the limits when it comes to the games. That's why I really can't uh, wait for Mafia 3. And then, you, of course, they got Grand Theft Auto. So, in Red Dead, you know, they just don't give a damn sometimes. But I, I, I am very happy about that. I will get that. That is a day one purchase for me. Uh, I do like all the Bioshocks too, you know, is, is my least favorite, but, uh, you know, remastered or whatever, and I'm not a big fan of all the remasters either, I was thinking about getting them on PC, but now, to get them all into one collection, I'll just go ahead and get that for 60 bucks, you can't beat it, so, uh, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that, are you going to get this Bioshock remastered, I guess, definitive edition or whatever, and speaking of definitive editions, Tomb Raider. I don't know what's going on with Sony. 
and you know Square Enix about this whole Tomb Raider thing this rumor has been going on here for a little while first I was hearing that it was about you know Square Enix wasn't going to make the game it's going to be a third party that was going to make the game for PlayStation now hearing more rumors that there might not be a Tomb Raider to come big shout out to he I was listening to his video and he was bringing in a full detail and this almost sounds like this game might not see the light of day on PlayStation at all that would be crazy for all the craziness that happened when we first when the first was seen like it was going to happen that it was going to be an actual exclusive for Xbox you know Sony Nation with bananas over it but now to go to it I guess nobody cares about it now which I think is absolute bullshit it's just like from I was talking to guys at work you know they have both systems and they've played both games and they actually like Tomb Raider better than Uncharted 4 and that's not me trying to throw shade they like both games they just felt like Uncharted 4 was just more cinematic while Tomb Raider you could do a lot more um, you know some like the story more on Uncharted 4 but then but there was no question that they liked Laura because she was just a more of a badass than Nathan Drake that's that was just their opinion I thought that was crazy and as, as a as, as a gamer you know I they come to me and ask me what good games to get on the PlayStation 4 and if I wasn't a true gamer I wouldn't tell them I would be trying to throw shade but that's not me I you know I gave them all and I told them to get Uncharted 4 and they did and they liked it uh, but they liked they liked Tomb Raider more and I would hate for anybody that don't have a, 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 P, a gaming PC or a Xbox to not get a chance to play Tomb Raider Tomb Raider is off the chain it's a fantastic game I mean it's it what Square Enix has done with this reboot I guess it's a it's, it's a it's not a, a reboot or remake however you want to call it but it's a great franchise and if Microsoft could actually snag it now if there is some trouble between Square Enix and Sony, take it. Kill a field, make it happen. Now on to other news. Uh, probably be my last point. Okay, PlayStation. This is what's confusing to me, all right? We understand why, why Microsoft is coming out with the Slim, the Scorpio, and then they still have the X1. It's part of a whole ecosystem. Some might say it's desperation to throw out all of this stuff. And that's fine to make that generalization. But... For PlayStation, for Sony to do the same thing with this rumored Slim, the Neo, now VR, I mean, what is this? This is, you know, so you're the console leader. Why would you want to throw more stuff at people to get people more confused? It's not going to make it to where, oh, well, I got a PlayStation, so I'm going to get the Neo, and I'm going to get the Slim, and I'm going to get the VR that's not how it works I mean the facts of it is is that the reason why the PlayStation is ahead and, and got this got, got to where they are is because of the price point you know that was the main factor then everything else came involved into it but throwing out all of these systems and plus VR which is the thing that you paid the most for and you want this to get into people's homes I think you would focus more on VR and games there's no reason to have a Slim when the PlayStation 4 is the console leader. There is no reason for it. I don't know. I think it's crazy. I think PlayStation is doing this out of true desperation, in my opinion. They just kind of fried, and they just don't know why Microsoft is in stride right now. They got the momentum, finally. But it is getting interesting. A big shout out to Intro Media Gaming and to everybody that I, I collaborate with. Man, everybody have a good day. Peace.